generation that we brought it back and it's become a brand unto itself. You want it to go faster, stop faster, turn faster. Basically it's the most track oriented Corvette that we do. Through the fifth, sixth, seventh, and now eighth generation car, we've moved the street car and the racer closer and closer together. The development both on the vehicle side and the engine side are tied together at the hip. It's a way to put the best of Corvette together and expand the performance bandwidth. The mid-engine architecture in the 8th generation Corvette allows us to do that even more. In my quest for performance, a Z06 was the car, which is basically a race car for the street and will perform with the best of the best worldwide. It's the first time that I had experienced a Corvette on the road that actually rode and felt like a race car. That precision, to me, that was everything. This is the one that elevates the Corvette brand. Saying that it felt like a supercar doesn't do it justice. <laughs> this thing rips. This keeps you locked in. I know we're having a conversation right now, but I'm still focused here. Yeah. I'm still focused here. The other people that we're competing against that are in a price range that is unique to themselves are going to look back at this as the one that changes how they operate. The heart of 
the Z06 as the engine. We had mid-engine architecture, which was a big step forward, but we also needed that power. There was a niche following that really pined for the immediate response, the lightweight, visceral feel of a naturally aspirated engine that would exceed the horsepower of the prior generation supercharged Z06. What kind of powertrain would we need to do that? achieve that is to do the highest horsepower naturally aspirated V8 that's ever done in automotive history. That's what had to happen. is truly playing in the exotic space. We had our hands really untied to buy the best aluminum forged pistons, titanium connecting rods, to go to the true mechanical valve train. It is a low volume, hand-built precision engine. The big advantages of moving to a flat plane crank is the mass in the engine that's moving the fastest is much lighter. And in doing that allows the engine to accelerate in speed much more rapidly than any small block before it and also achieve more than 650 horsepower making it the most powerful naturally aspirated v8 engine in a production car we only do a mid-engine car once we really looked at um how to how to get the engine that we really all wanted to have which was um, a flat plane crank v8 that was what we really wanted to do
I have a background in footwear design before I came to GM. There you're designing around an athlete. Everything that we have here is designed around the mother. We respect our past, but we are always moving forward. We really try to cause the design to look better in a way that the car works better. This new Z06 has basically started with a clean sheet of paper. I admire that because they just taken the most advanced design and updated it each time. It is so advanced and so edgy and beautiful. It's a careful balance of beautiful sculpture and performance metrics. We try to make them transparent to the design itself. This time, we're changing everything but the doors, the roof, and the hatch. It typically starts at the road. Wider wheels and tires, packaging larger diameter brakes, more traction, more stopping power, better cornering power. The front and rear fascias, fenders and quarters, all the aerodynamic stuff is different. A big part of the Z06 mission is in its chassis. The architecture was designed to put power to the ground like no Z06 before it. 20 inch diameter wheels in the front, and for the first time, 21 inch diameter wheels on the rear. We want to make sure we take full advantage of that weight on the back end, powering off the line to maximize the traction. The fact that we're widening the tires also enables us to create bodywork that feeds right into the engine need to breathe and be cool. We started putting the wider fenders and the wider quarters on it. Then it was like, okay, we got something here. When you get into a manufacturing process, to some extent, that becomes very stiff and there's not a lot of uh, emotion and art and feel to it. How do you bring that human touch? Carbon fiber, it's beautiful because you have this man-made material that's incredibly strong, lightweight, giving you that performance feeling. Then we bring the art into it by the forms that it has, and then hitting it with leather piece floating on top of it. Each one of them were like building a, a small sculpture and it just blends those two worlds of art and science and craft and quality. You get that understanding that you bought more than just something that's exhilarating and fun, but you also have a full crafted piece that surrounds you. If you take exterior color, interior color, seat belts, calipers, wheels, you can build well over 11,000 different combinations. You can truly build whatever you want and make it bespoke to you. Having something that brings the thrill of driving to everybody in their own unique way has kind of really been the focus in Corvette.